Hello, and welcome to HeroCraft How To, an instructional video series for the HeroCraft server. Today's episode, Skills and Binds. Now you've chosen your class, you may be wondering, how do I find the skills I can use? There are a few commands to do this, the easiest of which is to type in slash skills. This will bring up a list on your screen in your chat box of all the skills that you can earn. If there's more than one page, if it won't fit on one screen, you can type in slash skills and the page number to bring you to that page. You can also view the skills of other classes by typing in slash skills, the name of the class, and then if needed, the page number. This can be used for, if example, you're a warrior and want to see the skill list of a necromancer. You can also look at individual skills by typing slash skill, the name of the skill, and then a question mark. Keep in mind, this, there's no S here because you're looking at one skill. It's skill, not skills. Now, earning skills. Skills are gained as you level up your class. So combat paths level up by killing for mobs and players. Profession paths level up by doing profession-y things, such as mining, logging, crafting, and fishing. Now, when you use the slash skills command that I mentioned in the previous slide, something will come up that looks like this. Now, this tells you everything you need to know about the skills you can earn, the skills you have earned, and what they do. Now, the first column here, you'll see there are three letters. In this case, E-N-G and H-E-A. This helps you differentiate between your profession and class skills. So ENG, in this case, is engineer. HEA is healer. So this is showing you this is a healer skill or an engineer skill. The second column is the level at which you earn that skill. The third column is the skill name, which will be important later. And the fourth column is what the skill does. Now you'll also notice that some skills are highlighted in green and some are red. So this screenshot is from a character that is a level 20 healer and a level 31 engineer. So the skills are in green are ones that it has already learned. Skills in red are skills that it hasn't learned yet but will once it gets to that level. Now using skills. The skills command is such. Type in slash skill and then the name. This is why I said keeping in mind the actual name of the skill is important. Now I'm focusing in this video on active skills, skills that you have to cast, but there are passive skills as well, skills such as sheer usage and using lava buckets. However, active skills are the ones you actually have to cast. Now most active skills are targeted. This means they're focused on an entity, a player or a mob. For these to work, you have to have your crosshair focused on your target. Also, all skills have a cost. Most of them just use mana. For those of you who have never heard this term before, mana is just a renewable resource your character has that's used as a fee for using skills. Now, you always have 100 points maximum mana. doesn't matter what class you are or what level you are. Some skills have a reagent cost. A reagent is an additional item you need on top of that mana cost. This is used just to balance out the more powerful spells. Also, rarely you'll see skills have a health cost. Unless you're a blood mage where health cost is part of the class mechanic, you're probably not going to run into this. Now, another important aspect of skills is binding them. You may have thought to yourself in the previous slide, well, if I have to target a skill and then type it and then hit enter and have it cast, how does that work in combat? Well, it is kind of slow, so there's a way around that. Binding skills is a way to quickly cast without typing. You do that by binding a spell to an item. You do this in three steps. Step one, hold the item. When I say hold the item, I mean in Minecraft, not in real life. You cannot bind Fireball to your TV remote. Sorry, I'm tried. Two, slash bind and the skill name. And then three, right click to cast. So if I want to bind antidote to a stick, I would use that command, and every time I right-clicked with a stick, my character would try to cast Antidote. If I want to remove the bind from that item, I hold the item and type in slash bind with nothing after it. You can also bind skills using the improved chat mod. This is an allowed mod that is legal on the HeroCraft server. To do so, you use this following command. Use tilde bind. Now the, that little squiggle is used to activate any command with an improved chat. After that, you type in the key on your keyboard you want to bind the skill to, slash skill, and then the skill name. 
So for example here, I'm binding the skill bandage to the key 1 on my keyboard. So every time I type 1, my character is going to try to cast bandage. This can be removed also by typing tilde bind removed and then key, in my case 1. So there you go. For more information, go to HeroCraftOnline.com or the HeroCraft Wiki at HeroCraftOnline.com slash wiki that has all the up-to-date information you could need.